Once we have our file loaded to the console, all we have to do now is press the play button on the machine. We'll be presented with a screen. We can choose the type of tool that we have in the machine. Right now we have the spindle mounted with a rotary tool. Uh, we also sell an accessory called the CNC stylus. That is basically a passive tool that we can insert drawing devices, um, vinyl cutting blades, which just mounts into the spindle holder there. Um, so if we select that option, it won't trigger power and can, it'll conserve power to the machine. But what we do want to do is select the router and then we want to make sure the spindle will actually raise when we pause the rubber. Once we read all the fire warnings on the screen, we click I understand and then we're presented with the job screen. So whilst a job is running, we have the ability to adjust the speed of the machine and the RPM of the spindle as well. And we'll get a general overview on how much of the file is actually finished. So once we're happy, we can press go. The smart bench has an outlet for the shot back for that dust extraction. So when we press go on the machine, the power to the vacuum will automatically stop. So as long as we have a vacuum that has a mechanical on and off switch, we leave the vacuum turned on at all times, and in that way, the smart bench can trigger the power to the vacuum automatically when a job starts. When the job finishes, the vacuum will turn off automatically. And once we're there, we just let the smart bench do its thing.